Now let's join our hearts and minds together as we worship God in our opening prayer. We do gather our thoughts, living God, and our energies to worship you. Yeah, we want to focus on you and concentrate on you. We want to put aside the other affairs and matters that get in the way so that we're focusing on you and worshipping you aright and worshipping you together. We're in different places, different locations, separated from one another, and yet at the same time, part of your flock, guarded by the Lord Jesus Christ, led by him. So we bring ourselves as a congregation, needing you, and at the same time, worshipping you. You're the God of heaven. We're mortals on earth. We are rightly in awe of you. We thank you for our brother, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shares our humanity and at the same time is in heaven at your right hand for us on our behalf. Our great high priest, he's the one who leads us safely into your presence. So we name him as our advocate and our spokesman at your right hand, the one who gives us entry into your presence right now. Thank you for him and his ministry for us. You keep your covenant with those who love you. We learn that from your word. You do that for those who love you and do what you command. And we can't claim that we 100% do what you command. We confess our wanderings, our coldness at times, Sometimes our deliberate sins going against you and we know when we're doing that. So we breathe a sigh of relief now to think you are willing to forgive us when we confess our sins. We thank you for your mercy, your actions to discipline us, to bring us back. We thank you for our Saviour Jesus Christ giving himself for us so that he might bring us back to you. And we bless you for that. Now we ask you to accept our worship. Accept ourselves, our very persons, our personalities, our very bodies. Bring ourselves in person before you. Accept our praise, our prayers, our listening to your word, our responding to your word, our encouraging one another. Be in all of our worship by your Holy Spirit. We ask it now in Jesus' name. Now let's sing again in our next hymn. 